Ah, of course when they're signal, they don't answer. You've reached the home of Leon and Cynthia Swamps. Leave a message after the beep. Hey, Mom and Dad. I was just calling to say I won't be over there for Christmas this year. Due to, well, obvious reasons. But, I won't be alone, so, um... Actually, that's pretty much it. Alright, love you, bye. Everything alright, Danny? Yeah, it's just different this time, you know? Being out here instead of at my parents' for Christmas. Oh, sounds like you need a little Christmas joy right now. I swear, Pep, if you start playing Jingle Bell Rock... Not that. I've got a game for you to play. A Christmas-themed game. Hmm. Well, I could play a good old crappy family Christmas game. What is it? It's a PSP game called Infected. Right. So... It takes place around Christmas. Alrighty then. Well, this is a bit different. I'm playing a PSP game. Let's get this started. Uh... Yeah, about that screen there. Yeah, I'm kind of doing this in a more legal way, and that's why it looked like that. So, luckily I got it fixed, though. As, I mean, I'm just talking as it's going. And with that, fellow citizens and friends of New York, let me say that this is going to be a great Christmas. Wish I could say the same about these graphics. Hey, will somebody get this freaking kid off the lights for fuck's sakes? Jeez, buddy, you really put the hall back in asshole. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. Zombies attack, it's very unfortunate. Let's move on. Infected hand. So you can give the character a first name, but no matter what you call it, the last name's always gonna be Stevens. You also get to choose where your character is from with a lot of detail to it. And now we actually get to customize our character itself. I eventually went with the look of some guy who probably works at Kmart or something. Oh, and the great thing to start it off with is I had to mute the music because of good old copyright. Oh, good. Basically, the story is your character is one of the only few people that actually have the cure in their blood for the zombie outbreak. That's pretty much all you need to know. Look up the cutscenes on YouTube if you want to know more. Dan, are you feeling alright? It's just cold and I have allergies, so just put that together and you got a runny nose. You get a little non-gameplay video tutorial on what to do to kill the zombies. When you're about to start a mission, you get these little voice clip cutscenes to, uh, well, I guess kind of brighten the mood a little bit. There's two things I know in this life. First, I've been more constipated for the last three weeks than a Colombian drug mule. And second, this is gonna get bloody. Finally, ladies and germs, we have the gameplay. True work of art. Now, of course, the reason it doesn't sound as good right now is due to the fact that I had to turn off the music. Yes, normally there's some rockin' music going on, but it's rockin' copyrighted music, so obviously. Uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I really can't tell what it is, but for some reason, something just seems a bit uncomfortable to me about this. It's kind of a combination between the camera and the way the character has to look. I mean, there is a reason why the character is holding their arms out like that, and that's because they're holding a gun in one hand and the syringe gun in the other one. But just the combination of that and the camera, I don't know, it just doesn't look right to me. Going into this, I thought that the controls were going to be a bit more complicated, but luckily they're not. They're actually surprisingly fast to learn. So pretty much what you do in the game is you use your regular gun to shoot the zombies until they turn red, then you use your syringe gun to... I guess finish them off. I can't remember exactly how it goes, but that's what I was doing. So I get that this takes place in New York around Christmas time, but I gotta say, a lot of the environments look very samey. The way I would describe any specific levels are, well, different parts of the city, and maybe some more snow piled up, like this level. 
Whenever you complete some missions, you get a little more money and then you can use that to buy some upgrades or weapons. Now ladies and gentlemen, prepare to hear a very Stevens, up scene. Very important to tell you. No matter what, never- Okay, everyone spread out! Firstly, we'd like to thank you. This is a great honor. Who are you people? Get out of here! We have a field trip from the Julia White School. This has been scheduled for six months. We're in the middle of a national crisis here. <laughs> We've been breached! He's infected! <laughs> Please, stop! Timmy? Timmy! 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 He's dead! You bastard! Our school is for people with severe mental retardation! He was only trying to ask you a question! Really? Boy, is my face red. Uh, folks. Mm. This is the war room. On your right is our emergency phone to the White House. Do you know who lives in the White House? The hell did I just listen to? Also, yes, that was partially to pad out the time. I mean, I enjoy dark humor here and there, and there are some pretty funny scenes in this game, but sometimes it kind of feels like they're trying to be edgy for the sake of being edgy. Well, finally, here's a level that looks at least a little bit different. And I do also like that you can still fully customize your characters between missions. But the game as a whole, I have to say, it feels a bit too repetitive. At the end of the day, like 99% of the game is just you shooting zombies and maybe occasionally saving people. I get that technically every single video game is repetitive in some way, but when you really get into the game, it doesn't really feel that way. When you don't get into the game, it can feel like this. Repetitive. I just didn't even continue after that mission. I mean, as far as I know of, the next few missions could have been amazing, but I just didn't care to go on. I think I want to change up this review system a little bit. Instead of just giving a number, I'm going to give this game a D+, which is passing, but I wouldn't recommend it. Well, that was interesting, Pep. I hear some band members from Slipknot were in the game. Yeah. Didn't really care to see where. Danny, there's an incoming call from your parents. Oh shoot, put him on! Uh, assuming you can do that. Hi there, son. Merry Christmas. Hey, Dad. Back at ya. Where's Mom? Oh, she's out doing some last-minute shopping. You know how she is. Yeah. Hey, listen, Dad. I'm sorry I can't make it out to the house this Christmas. I had planned to. It's alright, Dan. Things happen. Whether it's a snowstorm, or your house is in the middle of the ocean, or you have to deal with a deadly computer virus like your brother's doing, it's all good. I hope the card I sent was okay. Your mother loved it, son. Look, I have to go. Stay safe, Daniel. You too, Dad. That seemed a bit sappy. Well, it's a Christmas special, so it's pretty much required for the most part. That was just the best we could do. Right. Well, hi, I'm glad you still get to talk to your dad. You have troubles with your dad, Pep? Well, his dad, actually. Guys, the video is almost out of time. Oh, yeah. Um, it's all good, because we're all together. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that jazz. Um, thanks for being here, friends, and happy holidays. Um, last line of the year for me. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like, subscribe, and remember, this is Danny Tree Frog and Friends wishing you a Merry Christmas. Also, this is Danny Tree Frog Reviews.